What is up, everybody? HTG Bright here, and we are back with more LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga! This is Episode 3, Chapter 2, Chancellor in Peril Free Play! We're gonna get the remaining gold bricks that we didn't pick up in story. We're also gonna get all 10 of those mini kits and the Super Astromech Red Brick. We're gonna shoot for that true Jedi stud requirement, and to be honest with you, it's quite easy with the 2X Red Brick and the Attract Studs Red Brick on as well. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into Chancellor in Peril free play and of course as per usual we're going to choose four lom as he is great for hacking he also has the grapple ability and he's got thermal uh, boom boom booms <laughs> he's got all sorts of stuff in fact we're going to start off by jumping over to the far right side of the area and using the grapple plug to get up top and you guessed it grab minikit number one now as you just saw thumby did suggest or remind us that we do have quick links down below in the video description to take you to the next collectible which will happen to be minikit number two which is right around the 2 minute and 16 second mark. But uh, we want to make sure we got to get some studs. You know us. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. And as it turns out, there's actually some bonus studage that can be had here if you are patient and use the voles quite a lot. You can see there's, what, eight of these little levers that we got to pull down with the force ability. And uh, also we got some bad guys, some Roger Rogers coming in to try to take us down. Ooh, look at that. Ground pound for the win. Go ahead and knock them all down, collect the hearts and studs, and uh, we'll go ahead and use the force as we make our way down the hallway. There's all sorts of things to make it rain studs. That's right. It's rain and studs. Hallelujah. It's rain and studs. All right, what do you guys think about this game? It is an oldie, but I do feel it is a goodie. I am grateful for a lot of the advancements that have been made in future LEGO games. And I do mean, like, current LEGO games, future from this one. Uh, and, you know, like, all sorts of things. And there's the bonus studage right there. Once you flip all eight of those switches down, you do get two bluesies that pop out from the ceiling. So with us having the 2X stud multiplier on, it actually ends up being a cool 4,000. And look at that, all that studs we just let go behind. We're not going to worry too much about it. As I already mentioned, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get the true stud requirement in this one. And uh, we're going to focus more on the collectibles. In fact, we've got another mini kit right here. And don't worry if you happen to uh, fall off the ledge during some sort of attack right there. Uh, you can go ahead and use that elevator to get right back up. You, did you see the old battle droid pop up? Yep, he's all peekaboo. <laughs> we'll go ahead and knock him out and drop down and take out all the baddies that are waiting for us down here. Now, uh, uh, suggestion made to us by you guys was is that we should use a character with the force to do the force choke on lots of baddies like that as it does work well or erratic the baddie as we like to say now as we keep on with the keeping on we notice that there is a robot terminal here we're going to go ahead and use our r4 to go ahead and raise the roof in fact we're going to get up there and uh, uh oh it's a droidka make sure you got yourself a lightsaber out go ahead and take him down and Ooh, quick reminder, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell as well so you can stay notified when we go live or upload new videos such as this one. We got all sorts of stuff, and we're actually, we got a poll going right now. This is a, kind of time dating this video a wee bit, but we do have a poll going on our community page of our YouTube channel. And it is asking, like, what kinds of games and things you'd like to see if you prefer the streams or the guides and things like that. So, uh, yeah, feel free to go over there and give some feedback. You might have to scroll down a little bit to give your... Uh, comment. Well, I guess I, guess I should say to, to find it because it might not be current. But uh, anyways, feel free to drop us comments and stuff like that down below on this video as well as we do try to read and respond to all comments uh, that need responding to. All right, now we're going to ride this back up. Why, you ask? Well, we actually took out that droidka that was protecting this little hallway here. And look at that. <laughs> so worth it. Use the force and actually make it puke out a whole bunch of studs. <laughs> And look at that, we're at 55k now, making our way to that, I think it's 80. I, I believe it's 80, if I remember right. Now we got these two hallways here, it doesn't really matter which one you take. We're going to go ahead and advance through though, and when we do, we're actually going to find ourselves, uh, well, getting attacked, as per usual. So, a couple more droid cuz and a couple of battle droids as well. Again, I do feel like the old jump, jump, attack is the best way to take on not only the bosses, but the droid cuz and groups of the battle droids as well. Some of them do have some protective armor, which do take a little bit extra to take down. But again, that ground pound for the win! Well, <laughs> until it doesn't. But all right, we go ahead and take them all down. You can see we've got four elevators here, and it appears that three of them have some sort of uh, panel that we can uh, hack into. So 
it uh, doesn't matter which one you choose first go ahead and step up to the plate and this one let's see here we open it up what do we got what do we got oh snap it's a mini kit thank you very much so that does leave two let's see what do we got here what do we got here spoiler alert oh it's uh well i guess it's related to the story so it's not completely irrelevant and it does help us out with our quest for 80,000 studs. And look at that, uh, the attract stud brick is actually pulling the studs through the wall there. So although you probably don't need to hack the panel to get inside there, yes you do! It's got a mini kit just for you. Ah, I see what I did there, I, I fooled you. I threw you off a little bit. Nah, may maybe not, maybe not. You guys are smart, you guys are probably on to me. All right, uh, we've got a whole bunch of studs in this back hallway or room here. We're gonna go ahead and use the force on the box and it's gonna drop a bunch more and Oh, so close. We got 77K almost all the way. All right, we got a couple of mini kits here. There's one actually right up above us on the middle right hand side there. It's a smack dab in the middle, really, but to us right there, it was on the middle right. Uh, we're going to go all the way over to the far left and. We actually got that 80,000 studs, and luckily, too, because we die a handful of times. But we grabbed that mini kit over there, which was the most important of that, because I'm sure you'll find some studs, and I don't... Oh, my goodness. I was trying to do the old double jump and ground pound, because I thought maybe, just maybe, there was something that could be got there. That was not the case. Now, uh, there's a couple of ways you can get this mini kit up top there. You can use the old double jump of Jar Jar if you prefer, but we also have another way. It's a little bit easier if you're having troubles with that double jump. Over on the far right side, you might notice there is a little hobbit hole here. We can go ahead and switch to somebody like an Ewok or Anna, young Anakin Skywalker, and he'll crawl right on through to the other side. And there we go. In this case, we already got the mini kit, so nothing left to see here. And now we can go ahead and follow the path that we created by using the false. So let's here. We'll go ahead and get up here, flip the switch, and oh, it turns on the fan, and up we go. Droid Cub blocking our path. And of course, don't forget, we do have quite a long gap here. And Thumby did just pop up on screen a second ago and remind us we do have quick links down below in the video description. So if you're, uh, you know, searching for that next collectible, it happens to be mini kit number seven which is right around the 10 minute mark so we got a lot of stuff to do between now and then but if you know how to take out the boss here then you don't have to watch it you can skip ahead some of you are just looking for the collectibles and that's a-okay most of you've already beat this level once if not twice and are just looking for that one last collectible and it might even be that red brick which again we've got quick links for all that stuff down below and uh you know if you guys would uh, find it useful that we got the true jedi at a certain point, like, or, or if there's, like, maybe a massive amount of studs, like, maybe you guys would like to see a quick link for, like, let's say I find 5,000 or more studs in one grouping. Would that be helpful to have a quick link for that? Or are you guys good by just having the mini kits and the red bricks, or basically the main collectibles in all the games that we play? You know, feedback like that is essential. You know, we could add some more stuff, or we could leave it out. I, I don't know which you would prefer. Oh, look at that. We're getting robbed. That blue and that silver are not attracting to us. I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like uh, <laughs> they they should get in our belly, but they're not. But we could go up there if we wanted to. We're actually going to skip it as we got way more than enough studs for the true Jedi. And we're going to keep on grabbing studs as we're only about halfway through this level. Now we got uh, three of the hearts gone and we got three more. Again, I can't stress enough that the double jump along with the ground pound or butt slam, as we like to say, uh, is probably the best way to take out these bosses. I know that some of them even uh, kind of grab us with the old tractor beam and you have to switch characters, but even with that other character, once you switch to them, I really recommend using that double jump and the attack. I don't know, it just something, something about it just seems to work. A lot of the times you can get into a lightsaber battle and get into the old cha 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 and not do any damage at all. But those jump jump pow, jump jump pow seems to work almost, if not every time. Oh, psych, it didn't work in that last one. There we go, down he goes. All right, so now we should be able to go up through the door that is now open in the middle here, and it is. There are a couple of elevators in here. We're gonna pay attention to them as there is some important stuff about to be had here. Let's see here, we got a way out in the far back there. We don't wanna go there yet. We will see over on the far right hand side, we've got some sort of a computer terminal we can hack. It's asking for some sort of a robot. So we gave it old TC-14, which of course I'm pretty sure Forlom would have gotten the job done. And look at that, he has revealed a wall that can be smashed down. 
And inside we've got a ton of studs putting us over a hundred thousand. Next up, we've got another door right here that just kind of opens up for us. So that's that's nice and easy. And we go ahead and collect that mini keysy. And we are out of here. Psych. We're actually going to go check this out on the on the left-hand side. We've got a couple of uh, more doors we can hack open. Not really essential, though. That one cannot be broken open. I even I think I throw a thermal detonator at it and still have no luck. And one last people wobble people. Coming up next, though, if you're looking for those collectibles, it's going to be that red brick. It's the Astromech, the Super Astromech. I, you know, there are so many red bricks in this game, and there are an abundance of them that I don't even know what they do. Uh, maybe you can drop a comment down below and let me know what does the Super Astromech brick do. I, I can always ask Gary. He's pretty good at notifying me of this stuff. And speaking of, shout out to HTG Gary for putting together the achievement guide for this. Now this section right here, I do apologize. I got uh, <laughs> I got blown away a couple of times here. In fact, I edited out some of this. But essentially, what you want to do is run on the right hand side and try to avoid the holes so that you don't fly up through the roof and die. But eventually, you're going to find one that uh, a panel pops off, and there are some silver bricks down there. Once the panel pops off, drop a thermal detonator in there with somebody like Chewbacca, or in this case, Forlom, and there's going to be a red brick that reveals itself. Uh, if you miss it, go ahead and die and grab it. Or once you get to the end, you should be able to hack this terminal and it should push that big wall backwards and you can always double back and get your treasure. In this case, we got it though, so we are good to go. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and keep on with the keeping on and make our way into the next section here. We got studage galore, both left and right sides. So we're gonna pick that up with our track studs. And let's see here, we got, oh, that's right. We've got lots of forcage needing to be used. In fact, there are all sorts of these valves that need to be spun around, so spin to win, as we like to say. And of course, I'm not going to focus too much on the studs unless they're blue. If they're blue, I got to get them all. We'll go ahead and flip that, drop that, grab the blue. Oh, we missed it. Now, this last section here, we have to use a droid to sneak on through. And then once we get over there, it should actually reveal the area where the next mini kit is. Now, look at me. I'm, I'm kind of like stuck here. I'm like, uh, what's going on? Why isn't this turning off? Because I totally forgot you needed a droid. Go ahead and get our peep boop 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 one last time. And it turns that off for the rest of our crew, which already made it through. But let, let's see here. We got this big orange. It looks like some sort of a balloon or some sort of canister. Go ahead and flip that switch using the force until it pops its lid. And we'll go ahead and jump in there and grab mini kit number eight. There is a little section here. If you smash that down, it should give you a bunch more studs. and also gives us a ramp for the rest of our crew. But the AI should be smart enough to go ahead and switch to a character that can bypass that. Uh, you know, like one that can jump or something like that. All right, all right, all right. We got one more hack panel. I swear, this level takes the cake for having the most hack panels on it in one go. But moving right along, we go ahead and find ourselves with some super duper guys here. I don't know. I feel like I'm in American Gladiators right now. That's all I can really tell you. Uh, but we go ahead and do a couple of the jump, jump attacks, and it works out weather nicely. Simply continue down the hall, collecting studs as we go, and as soon as we get into this next room, we've got a choice to make. We can either go hard left or hard right. Either way provides a mini kit. Now, I took a little bit of a detour here, took out a couple of bad guys, but I am going to return back to the mini kitage. Here you go. <laughs> All right, one down and one to go. Look at that. All right. So we officially have all 10 of those mini kits. We got that true Jedi stud requirement. And of course, we also got, well, that red brick for the whatever the super astro mech is. We'll, we'll go ahead and check that out at some point, I would imagine. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take out the remaining droids here in the room. And then once, uh, once they're gone, D, we'll go ahead and flip this switch using the false. And it should take us to the final totes. That's right, I had to grab that bluesy real quick. Uh, hey, Super Astromech Red Brick on! Lock, 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 lock. Check it out, we got that true Jedi stud requirement. Thank you very much. We'll go ahead and stack up some chips. We should be closing in on that three milski. Uh, it's good though, because we've got lots of red bricks and characters yet to purchase. And I do plan on doing a live stream when we wrap all of the uh, free play and challenge levels up. That's right. We've got lots of stuff to still do. Uh, in fact, we still have like 50 plus videos ahead of us. That's crazy to think because we've been going and going and going. And I do believe this will take the cake for the most videos in one series. Maybe.
maybe minus Lego Dimensions, but hey, we got those gold bricks that we didn't get from Story for collecting the true Jedi, as well as those mini kits. And that's going to wrap it up for LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, Episode 3, Chapter 2, Chancellor in Peril Free Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And uh, as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time, see ya!